When it comes to 80s slashers, there is a clear first tier. Successful franchises that everyone and their aunt's uncle recognizes. Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Child's Play, the gold standards. Then you have your second tier, movies that might end up on underrated lists but are still fairly well known by horror fans. Stuff like The Burning, My Bloody Valentine, Sleepaway Camp, The Prowler, The Silver Medalists. Then you have the third tier, The Other Guys, The Bronze Medalists. Movies that if they didn't end up on Shudder or other streaming services, a lot of people may never hear about or see. I love this tier of slashers. The premises are wilder, the villains have weirder gimmicks and stranger accompanying masks. There's more insane twists and turns, lower production value, and just minimal effort put in. These are a blast to watch, especially if you go in blind. One slasher that I think fits this bill is The Edge of the Axe. While I'm not exactly sure I liked it, I am sure that I had fun watching it. Edge of the Axe is a whodunit slasher from 1988 about a masked killer axing people in a small rural town. My favorite element of Edge of the Axe is the mystery around who the masked killer is. And I love it because it is absolutely not a mystery. The killer is clearly the main character Gerald from the start. We literally have no other suspects in the entire time and he is overwhelmingly creepy from the beginning. Here are some of the best examples. Gerald has no sympathy for murdered women. Slashed to pieces as she went through the tunnel of the car wash. How awful. He keeps a detailed record of women that were murdered on his computer for fun. Crime. Smearna Dobson, 31 years old, dead in the car wash in the city of Patterson. His girlfriend asks about these files, and he says this. Gerald, why do you know the names of all the women who were killed in your computer file? I've also got a list of all the automobile accidents and forest fires in California. Don't you like statistics? Also, as a quick sidebar, this is their second date. This girl is way too fucking casual with such an alarming question. Anyway, Gerald also proposes killing his friend's wife here. Just talk it over the axe killer. I think he'd be happy to take care of it for you. And right after this, coincidentally, the wife dies. He's seen using an axe here. He breaks into his girlfriend's house in the middle of the night wearing leather gloves. Hell, in this shot, they even accidentally show his face before he kills a girl. Now if you're thinking, okay, okay, I get it. He's clearly the masked axeman. What's even better is somehow, despite all that evidence, despite us literally seeing his face and bowl cut before killing a girl, Gerald is not the killer. I somehow did not spoil the ending. If you're just dying to know, you can still watch the reveal for yourself and find out who it was. With this being a slasher, a healthy portion of this movie is the masked killer chasing and axing screaming women. The other half of this movie is an extremely strange love story between Gerald and a girl. All of their scenes are so alien and wooden, the bulk of the story revolves around their young love, and they just have negative chemistry. It is a real treat to watch. With You're not boring me! I like you a lot, Gerald. And I'm sure that if Mama was still alive, I'd probably love him more than her. Who do you like better, your mother or your father? You seem so mysterious. I just kept pushing him harder and harder. You know, I can just see your cousin flying through the air. He fell off the swing and fractured his skull. Oh, fine! I should push it till you fall off this thing. All right, go ahead, try it. <laughs> I asked it if you were gay. One day my dad came in and he said he never wanted to see another doctor in the house again. So I stopped taking all the pills and the medication. All in all, I enjoyed Edge of the Axe. Despite showing clips, I don't really think I spoiled it or that it really is a movie that can be spoiled. I'm not saying put this at the top of your list, but if you like cheesy, low-grade, stock-and-stab movies, if you've seen most slashers but not this, Edge of the Axe is definitely watchable. If you stumbled upon this weird review of an 80s slasher and enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to my channel. I post new horror reviews and recommendations on Fridays, and in April on Mondays, I'm starting a different horror-related series. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Gerald, why do you have the names of all the women who were killed in your computer file?